What's good out there guys, it's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a money glitch, alright? Now I know I haven't posted in a few days and I really apologize about that, but I just did get a brand new PC and uh, yeah, this new PC has definitely been a handful. I've been customizing a lot of the parts in it and I've been using new software, so I'm using a new video editor, so things take a little bit of time, so thanks for your patience, all right? But uh, yeah, so getting back into this, it's a super simple glitch. Um, it's a dupe glitch, and most people can do it. It's been out for a while. It got patched, then it got unpatched, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it right here, all right? So shout out to the founder, uh, K Glitcher. And uh, yeah, so what you're gonna need to do is you need to go ahead and throw yourself in an invite only session. You do need one friend. If you guys are interested in the solo money glitch, the BMX solo dupe still works. I know you guys love that one. <laughs> so that one's still working. But for this one, you need one friend, invite only session. You as the duper need a facility with a retro custom in there that you're gonna be duping or any Benny's vehicle. Uh, for that matter you do need custom plates that's important and you need a separate garage full of rh8s all right that we're going to be duping over okay so it can be fagios it can be whatever you just you know you need a vehicle to be able to dupe over but you want that separate garage to be full so i recommend just getting a 10 car garage throwing a bunch of rh8s in there and you can go ahead and use that so the way you want to go ahead and set this up is you want to go ahead and go into your own facility and shoot your friend an invite. All right, shoot your friend an invite into your facility. And once you're both in there, we can go ahead and get going. But uh, basically what you want your friend to do is once they're in your facility, have them go to the pause menu and start up a Titan of a job and sit in the settings screen. Okay, that's the job lobby, you know, before you actually say you want to launch the job. Have them sit in there, all right, in your facility, sitting in the settings screen of Titan of a job. What you want to do is go over to one of your retro customs that has a custom plate on it you want to get inside of it and you want to go ahead and go to the party um so here's the thing so on playstation you want to go ahead and join tap the right trigger three times and then accept the first alert to join your friend and then sit on this alert for 40 seconds okay so that was just me doing it quick don't worry i'm going to be doing it a few more times this is just a fail but you want to sit on the second alert for 40 seconds now that is if you're on playstation in an invite only session xbox won't get the private alert so you need to join your friend tap the right trigger or the gas three times to drive out accept the first alert and then your friend needs to back out of the job all right so playstation your friend can just sit in the job in a private session xbox doesn't matter what session you're in your friend needs to back out of that job once you're on that first alert and you need to accept that first alert fairly quickly but once you're on that second alert you're going to get an unable to connect on xbox you just want to sit on that for 40 seconds like we're doing here once you've done that you can go ahead and continue okay so you want to go ahead and press x or a to continue once you've done that you should be under the map and you should be able to drive but look this is a fail sometimes guys things like this happen all right if this happens to you you're not going to be able to find that car it's going to despawn that's what happens when you know street cars go into the map and stuff they just despawn so if that happens to you you have to go ahead and try this again just call out an impressor and call it back and then your car should be back inside the uh you know the facility so right now whenever i retry this i have my friend back out of the job and then go back in it so that's what they're doing now so once my friend's back in that job, I'm going to go ahead and open up and go to my party, basically, and join him right before the alert comes in. I'm going to tap the gas three times and then accept the first alert and sit on that second alert. OK, so remember, Xbox, once you get to that first alert, you tell your friend to back out of that job. So right here, I'm joining, tap the trigger three times, accept the first alert, boom, sit on the second alert for 40 seconds. Xbox, remember you have to spam on join game so you spam on join game it'll bring you back over to gta you tap right trigger three times with the gas to go outside immediately accept that join uh first alert and you tell your friend to back out uh, i mean that's why i'm saying on xbox you don't want to immediately accept it wait a second or two because you want to tell your friend to back out of that job so wait a second or two say hey back out of that job right when they've backed out you can go ahead and accept it and then you set on that second alert, which will be the unable to connect for you guys for 40 seconds. All right, just like we're sitting on this private alert for 40 seconds. So it works on both consoles, just a little bit different, all right? Friend needs to back out of a job on Xbox, all right, to get that unable to connect. Once you've sat here for 40 seconds, I'd, I recommend 40, 45 seconds. You go ahead and accept the alert, and this is the result you want to see. You want to see yourself under the map like this, and you all you have to do is tap on the trigger, all right, on the gas to drive forward. And then you'll start falling into the map and eventually stay in the car, and eventually you will spawn on top once you spawn on top this is the way to check to make sure it works or so make sure you always perform this check get out of the car you see how there's no personal vehicle icon right there that's how you know that we are good that's how you know that this is a duplicate all right 
So at this moment is when you want to go over to that garage that you have a bunch of RH8s at. All right, that's what I'm doing right now. Now, my friend, I do not want my friend to leave the facility whatsoever. They can back out of the job, but they can't exit the facility. If they exit the facility, the car becomes bricked, all right? It will just kick you out and it becomes bricked. So I've driven over to my 10 car garage that's full of RH8s. I'm just going to get out of the dupe right here, and I'm just going to run into the garage on foot. All right, don't worry. That car will not despawn. You can leave it out there. So once I'm in here, I have a bunch of RH8s that I'm going to dupe over. I'm just going to grab, and remember, this garage needs to be full. That's very important, full. So I'm going to grab this RH8 or whatever car you want to dupe over and just drive it out. Once you've driven it out, you can go ahead and just come back over here to the uh, to the retro. I'm going to get in this retro, and then I'm just going to go ahead and go inside. All right, and you'll see you won't get a full alert or anything like that. All right, so I'm going to drive inside this garage, and it's actually going to go straight into that slot and duplicate right in front of your eyes. All right, so there you go. Some of you might remember this. This is a pretty old glitch, but yeah, still working. Uh, it's one of the coolest effects where you see your car is dupe right in front of you, uh, kind of like the Sultan glitch. But uh, yeah, so that's how you actually create one dupe. Now, if you want to rinse and repeat, probably the quickest thing to do is from this point, you don't need to drive that car in and out or anything. That's a dupe. It's saved. It needs a, cl a custom plate. So, or it had a custom plate on it. So remember, the plates don't merge. All right. So um, right now what happened is my friend started up a job that's close to my facility at the job circle, invited me, I joined, and then they kicked me. So you see, this is how you teleport back to your facility really quickly. Just have your friend start up one of those blue circle jobs that's close to your facility and then have them kick you out of the job. And there you go. You see that? I teleported nice and quick right back over to the facility and we can get on with the glitch. Okay, so at this point... Uh, I recommend your friend can stay in the facility, but I like to have everybody exit and then come back in. Okay, that's kind of like what I like to do. But uh, yeah, you can get a dupe with this. If you get, you know, if you get good at that little, you know, part in the beginning at actually getting glitched out in the facility, you can get a dupe every five minutes, which is, you know, pretty good. All right. A dupe every five minutes is not a bad dupe glitch whatsoever. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to see a merge uh, dupe glitch where you don't need custom plates, let me know and I can try to post that next. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and rinse and repeat. Me and my friend are both back in here. They're going into Titan of a job and they're sitting in the setting screen. I have my custom plate on my retro custom that I'm going to be duping. And once they're in the setting screen in that job, they're going to go ahead and let me know. And then once I'm at that point, then I'm going to go ahead and actually go to join them. All right. So remember, you want to spam join game on Xbox on PlayStation. Just simply join them from the party. Okay. Now, once we've joined them, we're going to quickly tap the gas three times, black screen, accept the first alert, sit on the second alert, okay? See, I accepted that first alert so quick there, you barely even saw it. But uh, yeah, so like I said, guys, I've done this on Xbox. Back in the day when it first came out, we were able to just, you know, do it really, really quickly, accept the first alert. We were even able to sit on that first alert for a while. But some weird stuff started happening, so I recommend playing with it on Xbox. Uh, don't sit on that first alert for any more than like five seconds. Any more than that, and you're probably pushing it. So just make sure your friend backs out before you accept that first alert or right as you're accepting it. Then once we're at this second alert, remember after 45 seconds, accept the alert and then we'll be under the map. Just tap the gas and we'll spawn back up on top of the map with our brand new dupe. But perform this check every single time. Remember, all right, very important. Get out of the car and make sure there is no sort of no, you know, no sort of personal vehicle icon on the map at all. And that this car is registered or it's actually unregistered, but it's a duplicate. So this is at the time where you want to go ahead and make your way back over to your garage that you have the RH8s that we're going to be duping over. Okay, so I've come back over here. I'm going to go ahead and remember, have your friend stay in the facility. Very important. Your friend needs to stay in that facility or in the job the entire time until you save this dupe. Okay, the entire time. So go into your garage on foot, your full garage. Get into one of your RH8s or whatever vehicle you want to dupe over and just take it outside. All right, we're opening up this spot right here so that we can actually just drive the other car directly in. It's a really unique glitch, a glitch, actually. It's one of the things a lot of people wouldn't even think of to actually dupe over an RH8. Uh, but yeah, so get back inside the dupe that has a custom plate on it. Remember, it needs a custom plate. Drive it in that garage. You won't get any sort of full alert. It'll just drive right into that spot and duplicate right in front of your eyes. And there we go. We got another dupe, and that one went flying. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out of the car. The dupe will, or I guess... Not sure which ones is i think the original car is kind of disappearing there and then yeah the dupe stays right there yeah okay so that's basically what it is but uh yeah guys so that's the glitch okay it's a pretty easy glitch yet yeah, requires custom plates but not really pe people really haven't been posting this one so i wanted to get it out there just having more options remember if you want any sort of other dupe glitches a merge glitch let me know down in the comments section and uh, i'll take a look at you know what i can do but uh yeah remember that new nightclub dlc 
It'll probably be out. I mean, they just say July. I honestly think it'll be out later on, uh, like maybe mid to late July. So we definitely have a little bit of time before we, you know, grind out for money. But if you guys have been following my channel for a while and doing money glitches, you guys should have no problem to buy everything in that DLC on day one. All right. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace. Peace.